Today we're going to create a sedimentary rock model that has a layer of coal formation in it. We will need a bottle of water, uh, uh, empty glass, salt, and four bags of cereal. The first bag is Cocoa Krispies and coffee mixed with water and it represents swamp plants and other ferns from an ancient swamp. The bag below it is rice checks and that represents sand. The fruity pub pebbles on the next bag represents clay-like pieces forming shale and the Cheerios represent sand. In the glass to represent the layer of coal I first pour the bag of uh, Cocoa Krispies and coffee and water into the bottom of the glass. I work, I try really hard not to press it down in any way. In an ancient swamp, plants um, died and then they'd settled at the bottom of the swamp and were not able to decompose all the way before they were buried. Next, I put a layer of salts and this represents the small amount of animals that died, decayed, and collected along with the plants at the bottom of the swamp. On the worksheet, draw layer one and then answer question number one. For the next layer, I'm going to crush the rice checks into little pieces, and then it's going to represent sand that covers up the ancient swamp. This sand was carried in by a river and deposited there, and it took millions of years for this sand to cover the swamp and to form this layer. Draw the second layer and answer question number two. I realize it's not Fruit Loops, but it is Rice Checks. Next, I crush up the fruity pebbles, and I pour that over the next layer to represent shale. A lake formed over where the, the sand had covered the old swamp and uh, clay-like pieces or shale float, uh, settled down at the bottom of the lake. Draw the next layer on your worksheet and then answer question number three. I understand it's not bran flakes but fruity pebbles, but it represents clay-like clay pieces forming shale. I crush up Cheerios to represent sand, and that covers the, la the layer of shale. After the lake has dried up, the wind has deposited sand to cover the shale that covered the other sand that covered the organic material at the bottom of the swamp. Draw the last layer on your uh, worksheet, and then answer question number four. Last, I'm going to use a bottle of water to represent heat and pressure. I'm going to place the water bottle on the top and I'm going to press down as hard as I can to represent what would happen over time with heat and pressure and that will form the coal at the bottom of the cup. The bottom layer is coal, the second layer is sandstone, the third layer is shale, and the top layer is another layer of sandstone. Last, for part two, draw the layers in the cup after applying pressure and then list some changes you observed to the layers in the cup after applying pressure. 